Um, I'd love to, to, to kind of figure out how you wrote your first book and then, um, how you wound up writing the sale and then publishing it with, with John Gordon. Yeah. No, thanks for saying all that. I mean, that means a ton. And so my first book is called Thrive View and it's a daily devotional book for, for athletes. And so there's actually a hundred different stories of athletes that I put together, college professional athletes. And so what's cool about that is I was working as a, as a camp counselor at Canica camps in Branson, Missouri. And that's where I met my wife. And, um, and so we worked as, as these camp counselors in the summer. And what I realized is I'm like, you know what, I have all these other friends that are these division one or whatever college athletes at these awesome schools. And they have like really cool stories. And I'm like, who's telling those stories. And I couldn't find too many books on, on uh, really any. And so I'm like, you know what it would be. And I feel like God kind of put that on my heart and I'm like, how cool would that be to have a book that kind of tells their stories. And so that was the first book. And it, you know, obviously I didn't write the entire book because I was largely putting together stories of awesome people and doing some interviews and writing for them at certain individuals, but yeah, it's a hundred different stories. And so that book, what was cool about that is it exposed me to then youth groups would reach out and say, Hey, we'd love to get books for our youth group. Can you come speak or um, church groups or fellowship of Christian athletes and all these, you know, um, things that got me into kind of the speaking realm of sharing my story, sharing my testimony, how God is, you know, using different parts of my life and things like that. And so that's how it started. And I actually, what's cool about this is I remember just sending a copy to John Gordon. And for your listeners that don't know, John Gordon is like the number five keynote speaker in America. He sold millions of copies of his books, like really successful author and just like an awesome guy. And I remember sending him a copy of my first book, Thrive View. And I remember him kind of reaching back out and being like, man, that's super impressive. You were able to get a hundred people. Um, so we connected over that. And then he spoke at Mizzou when I was on the football team. And I remember just connecting with him. And I remember reaching out to him after he spoke there and said, look, man, like, I want to do what you're doing someday. Like I, like I love how you go around and speak and write books. Like I want to do that. Like I, how do I do that? <laughs> Cause I just, I just didn't even know what, and, and he pretty much was like, well, are you willing to work for free? And I'm like, yeah. And so I started managing his LinkedIn account and doing kind of sales for him. Not that he needed help, but you know, he'd get all these inquiries and he'd need help managing them or um, things like that. And so that's kind of how it started. And then as his, as he's continued to grow and, uh, popularity with his books and everything the last few years, you know, he gets so many leads that then he started saying, Hey, Alex, you go speak at this event. And so then I started to speak on his books. And so like many people that are listening might know the power of positive leadership or the energy bus or some of his bestsellers, I would go and do workshops with teams on those books. And so then when we started talking about the sale, that's our most recent book that you mentioned, uh, the sale we actually wrote together, which was awesome because, you know, he's my favorite. I've been my favorite author for years and I've been on his core leadership team. And so for me, it was like such an honor to think through this story, come up with it and publish it together. And 